It's time for our hero Link to visit Stone Tower, the temple which has the evil boss which is ruining the land of Ikana. That's kind of weird that he can be frozen in midair like that by those mummies. And over here on the second level of Ikana Canyon, we have the Fairy's Fountain. Obviously, we are going to have more stray fairies in the Stone Tower Temple. If we find all 15 of them and bring them back here, we can save the Great Fairy of Kindness. And of course, that would be a kind thing to do, so Link is going to make sure to keep an eye out for those stray fairies when he goes to Stone Tower Temple. But we have to get to the temple first, so go over here and just roll up this area in the corner to reach Stone Tower. I always thought this was kind of a strange challenge. We have to climb up the tower in order to get to the temple. And I have to jump as normal Link because I'm pretty sure that Santa Link doesn't know how to jump. Yeah, Santa Link can't jump. Good try though, Santa Link! So just jump across these platforms here, and we have a switch. So step on the switch and play the Elegy of Emptiness to keep the switch set down. Otherwise, if Link steps off of the switch, the block is not going to move. You'll see what I mean in just a moment, but for now, let's take a look at the creepy version of Santa Link. Alright, creepy Santa Link. It looks like he has no pupils. I don't know, that's creepy. Okay, I'm going upwards and onwards using the hookshot. We can go up a level where we have another switch, right? This switch makes the block go upwards, so play the Elegy of Emptiness on this switch to make the block stay up. Alright, so that's good. Now, on to level number three. Let's see, level number three, is it here? No, it doesn't look like it's there, so we're going to the hookshot target to the real level number three. You might have noticed by now that there's a switch on every single level, and you need to play the Elegy of Emptiness on all three switches. One switch per level, one Elegy of Emptiness per switch. So one of them you have to play as Goron Link, the other you have to play as Normal Link, and the third one you play as Zora Link. That's it, that's the challenge for Stone Tower. Just step on all three switches and use the Elegy of Emptiness to hold the switches down. Wow, creepy looking version of Zora Link. And guess what guys, we just solved the challenge which means we can go across and then do the exact same thing two more times. Yeah, this is why I think Stone Tower is kind of a strange dungeon. There's not much to it, it's just doing the same thing three times in a row. Really, really boring. Okay, so where's the switch for this level? Okay, this looks like the switch, so I'm going to play the Elegy of Emptiness here. Then I'll just move on to the next level and find another switch and play the Elegy of Emptiness on that one. Really, really simple. Where is the next level? Is it here? No, of course that's not it. It's, um... Not seeing it. Wait, was that it? That was it. Okay, here we go. This level tries to switch things up a bit by adding a Bemos enemy into the mix, but still do the exact same thing, 
go on the switch and play the Elegy of Emptiness. Do, 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 do. Like I said, this is kind of boring. You do the same thing over and over and over again to get those blocks of moving. Or maybe they're not supposed to be blocks. Maybe they're supposed to be stones because this is the stone tower. I don't know. I thought they called it the stone tower because it's made out of stones, but it doesn't really look like it's made out of stones, you know? It looks more like it's made out of hay. Let's hope the Big Bad Wolf doesn't come along and try to blow the tower down, or else it would fall in an instant. And I think I might have missed a switch somewhere, because this is too far to jump. But I'm sure if I get close enough, I can hookshot the rest of the way. Alright, not close enough yet. Try again, Link. And there we go! We made it across! Hooray for us! Now we get to do the exact same thing. Go up three levels, and then we reach the top. Fortunately, this time around we don't have switches to worry about. No more stepping on switches and playing the Elegy of Emptiness. However, you still have to hookshot up three levels. And this always, always, always confuses me. Because you think you need to hook shot to this target, which is really close by. Target, link, link, target, to the left, to the left. This target, right? But you can't reach it. What you have to do is actually get down here, on this part of the platform, and then hook shot to that target, because then you're close enough. That always, always, always confuses me. And now I'm going to go on to the next target. Link? Where's that target? I don't see it. I'm getting attacked by enemies. Night of the second day. 36 hours remain. Alright, so over there you might have noticed we have a sort of hidden area with our friend Mr. Scarecrow. If you have the Scarecrow song, you can play the Scarecrow song to make Mr. Scarecrow appear. And you can reach that area right over here. Right over here the one where Tattle is flying around, that's the area you can reach with your friend, Mr. Scarecrow. I don't know why you'd want to go there, I don't think there's anything interesting there, so I'm just going up to the final level of the Stone Tower. And here we have a save point, so you never have to worry about climbing the tower ever, ever again. Ah, uh, but here we have another stepping on switches challenge. You need to step on the switches in the proper order this time, in order to reach this building, which is the Stone Tower. I'm not going to do that. That's going to happen in the next video. However, right now, I'm going back to Clock Town. Because I have a lot of money, and I'm going to put my money in the bank. Yes, I've been playing this game for quite a while. I think I've accumulated a small fortune. 4,800 rupees, to be exact. So I'm going to deposit 200 more. Do you know what happens when you get 5,000 rupees? Well, you guys are going to find out now. When you deposit 500 rupees, I'm sorry, 5,000 rupees, you get yourself a piece of heart. Awesome! Way to go, Link! 